A lot of us, mediocrity is everywhere right now. And we're all trying to find an easy way out. And we're judging ourselves. Let's say there's 10 people in this room and we're all mediocre. But I'm the best of the mediocre people. I now think I'm great. I'm great. We surround ourselves around people that make us feel great, that tell us what we want to hear. The second we put ourselves amongst the uncommon people, we don't like that feeling, that challenging feeling that, of, of that person who's waking up at 3.30 in the morning and saying, hey, put your shit on, we're going for a run. We don't like that challenge. We like that person who says, hey, you know what, man, I don't feel good today, man. And they say, oh, it's okay, brother. Put the day off, man, we get a pizza and shit, watch the game. We like that. We, we love that feeling. Why? Because you understand, man, we're good, bro. We don't want that motherfuckers like this. Hey, man, no, bro. Get your fucking shit on, man. Stop being a punk. We don't want that in our lives. We don't want that person who's constantly challenging our weaknesses. We want that person who's constantly, you know, making us feel nice and good and secure in ours. That's the mediocrity of life. We want to be the best amongst the average people. People wonder, how do you stay hungry all the time? Because after I accomplish something, I don't sit back like a lot of guys who graduate buzz, graduate this, graduate that. They get comfortable. They wonder why I'm getting weak, man. I don't know, I lost my edge. What's going on? Because once you hit the top of the fucking mountain, guess what happened? I'm good. I'm good, so you wonder why you're falling down now. Because once you reach the top of the mountain, you got to build a fucking another one. That's mediocrity. There's a lot of people in mediocrity who have a nice resume, but they're one-timers, man. They hit, they hit a one-time deal, they busted it open, got a lot of money, but they're good. You're mediocre now, man. What are you fucking doing today tomorrow, the next fucking day. That's why I don't listen to this. I don't listen to all that bullshit. I listen to a motherfucker who's like this, man. <sighs> What's wrong, man? I'm fucking tired, dude. Why are you tired? Because tomorrow, I gotta do the fucking shit again, man. Whatever the shit is that made me fucking nauseous and sick to my stomach, it made me hurt. There's no ending. And that's the person I listen to. That's the person who's gained knowledge. You gain knowledge through suffering. And on the other end of suffering is a world that very few, very few have ever seen. It's a beautiful world because that's where you find yourself. You don't find yourself in over here. You find yourself on the other end. Like, like the 100 mile race I was on, I ran it for 24 hours. I found myself on the other end of that fucking race. That 19 hours, I found, wow, there's a whole other fucking world out here. That never even saw, but the world's in your mind. The world's in your mind. And that's what all that mediocrity is about. Mediocrity is contagious. Not getting civilized is about having a savage mentality. Civilized is something where people, uh, it's, a, it, it's, it's a comfortable world. A lot of us say, you know, like for instance, I see these athletes right now who retire, you know, I'm 38, you know, I'm 39. I did 20 years at the top of my game, and I'm chilling out now. You see them a year later, and how they look. What the hell just happened? What the hell? You're one of the greatest athletes of all time. Kids looked up to you. Women, men of all ages looked up to you. And they hit the pinnacle where it's time to retire, and their mind says, I'm civilized. The worst thing that could ever happen to any human being is they become civilized. It's that total accountability, like even when you retire, there's a mother in me right now, man. I'm, I was the baddest person to ever live. It doesn't go away, man. You gotta wake up, even though you retired, you never retired. You're setting the example every single day of your life. And being civilized feels so good. I'm sorry, man. Once you get to the top, you may retire, but you ain't never too bad, man. Now you're judged. People see you falling off. You want to be that guy who knows I may be retired from the sport or forever I did, but I'd be damned if you ever see me looking like shit, feeling like shit, not arriving. People, I've arrived. I've arrived mentality. You're always setting the example. Civilization feels so good. These comfortable feelings, 
are what people want. They want retirement. They want that. They need that. They, it's a, it's a yearning feeling, a yearning feeling. I want it too. People love putting a label on me about, my God, man, you're just wired different. I'm not fucking wired different, dude. I'm thinking right now, after I got past my stuttering thing, now I'm on a roll, I'm good now. You know what I'm thinking about right now? I gotta fucking wake up tomorrow and do the same shit again. I gotta leave this fucking interview and go stretch out for two and a half hours. I hate that shit. But guess what it does though? I'm constantly callousing over my victim's mentality that I once had growing up. Every day you have to do this shit. Because why? When you stop doing it, you don't just maintain it. If you stop shooting a gun, you're not gonna be a great shot if you pick a gun up a year from now. The only way to keep from getting rusty is to constantly owe that motherfucking machine. The machine is this. You gotta keep challenging every day. So this guy just passed me. He said, get just the average today. Some of you just don't understand. Some of you have been average for so damn long, you don't know what it is to do hard work. But there's a lot of you out there who want to be much more than average, but just don't know how to do it every single day to grind. You can find someone to hold all those fucking gears up. So check it out. This is a mindset. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. But there's a motherfucker out there who wants what you have. Who wants the position you are? Who wants the job you have? Who wants the wife that you have? Or the husband? Is someone out there hungry and wants everything you fucking have? Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. But if it is, it's gonna be your ass. So make that a motivation for you. Those days. Those days when I'm days when I'm tired or worn out or just basically sick of the grind. What, what do I do in all those days? I go anyways. I get it done even if I'm just going through the motions. I go through the motions. I don't really want to work out. I work out. I really don't want to hammer on a project. I hammer on the project. Don't really want to get up and get out of bed. I get up and get out of bed. Now, these could be signals that you need some time off. And those signals might, they could be correct, but don't take today off. Not today. Wait until tomorrow. No, don't give in to the immediate gratification that is whispering in your ear. Shut that down. Do not listen to that little voice. Instead, go through the motions. Lift the weights. Sprint the hill. Work on the project. Get out of bed. Now, as an overall rule, I do not like procrastination. You need to get things done. But if you are going to rest, that is one thing that you should procrastinate on. That's the one thing I want you to put off until tomorrow. And, and if when tomorrow comes, you still feel like you need to rest or you need to take a break, then okay. But the chances are you won't. You won't need that rest. Chances are you will realize that the desire to rest was just weakness. It was just the desire to take the path of least resistance, the downhill path, the easy path. And by simply going through the motions, you overcame that path. And you stayed on the righteous path, the disciplined path. You stayed on the war path. Which is right where you 
No. 